Hi there, Graham Fletcher here, a Mackenzie friend and divorce coach. Just going to shoot a short little video to sort of give you an idea, if you need this kind of help, how courts deal with domestic violence allegations in family courts, because this is something that seems to happen to quite a few people. Um, so, first and foremost, uh, this normally happens in and around an area called child arrangement hearings. Uh, following a divorce or separation when one parent is applying to see their children or increase the time that they have with their children and the other person is perhaps making allegations of domestic violence. Quite a lot of people hear the word domestic violence and straight away presume that that's definitely physical violence, somebody physically assaulting each, uh, each other, but that's not that, that you know, domestic violence is a, is a sort of broad spectrum of kind of experiences from coercive control to, um, you know, restricting people um, socially from meeting their friends or um, financial control or emotional abuse, uh, verbal uh, abuse, and so there's, it's quite sort of broad um, that what is the definition of domestic violence and I think that's really important for you to understand and educate yourself and do some research on. And when family courts are um, looking specifically at the issue of child arrangements, when the, um, the parents can spend time with the children, um, sometimes they, uh, they're kind of stuck because one person's saying, no, I don't want it to happen, the other per person's saying it should happen. And family courts have to find a way to unlock this and take this uh, discussion about the child arrangements along a journey. And so what they have to do is um, sort of start to build up a picture of do they think what is being alleged is significant enough that they need to have a finding of fact hearing or a fact finding hearing. Um, so if you go to a court hearing and you hear that word fact finding referred to, then they're considering whether or not they're going to have a long hearing whereby they're going to listen to these allegations in full. It's the court's decision to decide that, um, um, but it may get suggested by a solicitor or a barrister on either side, but it's really for the judge or the magistrates to decide that, whether or not they think that's significant. Um, it's not a criminal case, it's a civil case because we're trying to resolve the child arrangement situation and in some situations um, a court may decide that fact finding is not necessary and it's not in the best interest of the children involved and in some cases they will consider it serious and they need to look into that uh, and you can, if you look uh, and subscribe to my channel you'll find there's a couple more detailed videos that are about fact finding hearings, there's two, two videos, part one and part two so you can watch those. And um, so the one thing that a, a lot of people, when they're faced with these allegations, um, they, it's a very emotional situation for them because they're already not seeing their children. And then when they're reading allegations, it's, it's even more challenging. And sometimes they misinterpret um, what is written in um, a report from Kafkas uh, when the Kafkas is reporting what they've been told in an interview. Just because Kafkas have been told something in an interview doesn't mean that Kafkas think it's true. They're just reporting that that allegation is what the allegation was and they're giving some recommendations to the court as to whether or not this needs to go to a fact-finding case or not. So it's really important to have an eye for detail in these things to try and get hold of your emotions, which is a lot of what I do, helping people, getting hold of your emotions, calming yourself down and being able to actually look exactly at the language that's been used and the recommendations that are being made, because actually they may be in your favour once you can start to put the emotions aside and, and they may kind of um, think that actually fact finding is not necessary. If fact finding is necessary, you know, that's a more kind of complex kind of journey. Um, and it's not something I'm going to be covering in this video but I thought it would be really important for you to kind of know that having an eye for detail about the, the what's written in court statements and the statements from the other person are really important um, and sometimes people don't really pick that up, the legalese language that's getting used and they misinterpret what's um, sort of inferred and suggested rather than something being definite and those details are really important in family courts when they're dealing with cases to do with domestic violence allegations. Just because somebody makes an allegation doesn't mean it's true 
Um, just because somebody's phoned the police before doesn't mean it's true. The courts sometimes have to look whether some of these actions may them, may in themselves be malicious and you know there's a whole spectrum of experiences within that so they have to be really careful. So I hope some of those explanations are helpful and uh, if you need to get in touch with me if you're somebody who's been a victim of domestic violence or you're being uh, um, alleged um, domestic violence uh, that you've taken against somebody else uh, I can help you um, possibly if we seem to click and align and I'm the right person to give you advice I might be able to help you with your case so uh, my phone number is 01635 869 730 and my mobile number is 07906 956 035 thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel take care bye